Okay, guys, before I finish up completely on the Mission Impossible, I wanted to do a test between uh, the valve on the right, which has got DV's valve angle on it with a back cut and a blended to the tulip versus a completely stock new valve that I have, which is been sitting around for I've had it for at least 25 years and all I did is I cut it for DV's angle it still has a small evaporation ridge on there and I wanted to see what it's going to do as far as our gross flow numbers and how it handles the liquid because stock engines have an evaporation ridge on that valve and like we saw on the throttle body injection, sometimes inside the bowl to aid in breaking up those fuel droplets. We're going to take a look at what we've got on the valve versus what we got on this one last time. Now, the port is exactly the same, okay? And you can see, let's see if we can change the angle. See how that evaporation ridge really gives it a kick as the liquid's coming over it? Not necessarily a bad thing. So it's kind of interesting to, to think about. Is, is it worth it? That small difference, right? That little bit of a back cut blended to the tulip or that evaporation ridge. Well... As far as this, it looks about the same in the bowl as we had last time. It looks pretty good. It's a little narrower than I would like, but it's not bad. We have a little bit more right by the plug than I'd like to see. It's actually on both sides of the plug. I do not remember it being on this side of the plug last time. But take a look at, at the beautiful blue covering we've got on that chamber. That light blue covering. That might be worth a few CFM. Just thinking. Let's take a look at what the bore looks like. Okay. That's a huge difference. Okay. The splatter marks on this side are much finer than they were last time we saw them. And this goes much deeper. This, this definitely looks better. And remember, it's only a small difference in the valve. To me, it's super interesting stuff, guys. Okay, looks pretty good in the bowl. Did it change our angle as far as our floor vein? No, it still looks right on the money where it should. That looks really good to me. Can we see into the chamber? You can see the light blue powdering into the, right in, up to the chamber. Okay, I wanted to retest, retest the exhaust as well. But all I have is older exhaust valves, and they were pretty beat up, so I took the carbon and stuff off of them. I put a slight radius on that edge with a burr, and then gave it a little bit of uh, sand roll action. It's not, you know, it, it was... Not a huge amount of work, but I just wanted to see if it's even worth cleaning them up. So we're going to flow that exactly on the same port as we did last time. I just did that mild work on that exhaust valve. Okay, I don't have numbers on these. This is my final finish. We should make this final finish number one because you know Charlie, right? What was it, 1,250 cuts later? You know who I'm talking about. You were in the chat. That's kind of funny. I got a good laugh out of that. We're going to make this number one. And we're going to make final finish number two here. Okay. So this is what we had. Not bad. You know, if we run it to 600 lift, we got 231 and change. Not great. It's less than I, I figured I could get, to be honest. So what did we get on this side? Well... That little lip on that valve does cost this is some CFM. It costs a CFM through the whole curve. Are they big losses? Well, we got four, we got five, you got six, 
you got four, you got three, you got two, you got four, you got one, you got three, you got one. <sighs> is it worth it? When you're barely making it as it is, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I should show you a valve I experimented on. Hold on one sec. All right, this is a valve that I use as a protector valve now, but I did an experiment on this a while ago. And take a look at the texture I put on it. That texture worked really well at breaking up, breaking up the fuel when it hits on it. Now, I don't know if I have any extra 318 valves we can waste and try that experiment, but that might be worth it. All right, cut it. Cut it like this, and then texture it. You might be able to get the best of both worlds. You might be able to get the little bit higher flow that this design shows, and the little bit better uh, liquid performance. Let me know if you uh, guys think I should waste my time doing that or not. Okay, so what happened to our swirl? Well, it is definitely gonna, going to affect it, okay? This is what we had, this is what we do have. Equals, minus, plus, 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 minus, 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 plus. It goes up and down. Are they both usable? This was quite dead to 400, right? This is quite dead to 500. I think I'd rather have this curve, to be honest, because it starts up at 400. I'd like to give it a little more of a kick. This is really, this is really low. This is completely dead. You know, I don't know which one would make more power. I don't think there would be much of a difference, to be honest. Okay, that was number one. This is number two on the bottom. We're flowing almost exactly the same at 600. We're 231.1 and we're 227.5. Only a tiny bit difference. Look what happened to our pinch speeds. Down, down, down. Roof speeds, down, down. Short side radius, down, down, down. Ouch. And some of them are big jumps. Big jumps in speed. I wouldn't expect that much difference on all of these just from those few CFM for 4 CFM. That seems like a big difference. All right, let's take a look at the exhaust. Now, the exhaust, all I did was I, I gave it a little bit of a cleanup and a touch of a radius on the top. Let's see if that made a difference. Okay, for those couple minutes worth of work, we actually got a couple gains. I'm not huge, you know, nothing is big, right? We lost a little here, we lost a little here. At the low lifts, I couldn't care less anyway. Equals... We got a little noise here and here, but we had a, we got more flow. And that does happen sometimes. Uh, you would think the, the noise would cost you CFM, but not necessarily on an exhaust. Okay, you can see it right here. We got noise on these two spots we didn't have here, and we got a little more flow. Will that hurt the engine? I'd rather have it no, do it no noise, to be honest, but I don't mind the extra flow. Up a little, tiny bit up, tiny bit up, tiny bit up, tiny bit up, same. So it's not a complete loser when it comes to that. Let's take a look at our inch and seven eighth pipe, 185.2 and 200.4. All right, it's a little bit better at 600 and a little bit worse at, at 700. Is it worth giving the exhaust valve a nicer shape? It'd be nice if we had brand new valves. That would be even better. Instead of older pitted stuff, I'm sure the uh, the pits don't really help much. And uh, if these are going to get spun as hard as I think, we probably need to get a set of exhaust valves. Like I said, I have I have a set of new. These are new, but they're they've been sitting around a long time. They do need uh, they do have a little bit of light rust on them. 
Not as good a shape as I thought. You know, they were sitting around forever. All right, we need to go over our air speeds for the exhaust. Okay, so test number one, we're 170.3, and here we're 171.2. I wouldn't think we would have very much difference in the speeds, but obviously that little radius I put on it, on the, on the face side, makes a difference. Minus, minus, minus. Plus equals minus, right? This is even worse than it was here. Not good. Minus, minus, minus. Look how low we are here. Okay. Not great. Now, how are we side to side? Side to side, we're really good, right? 282, 282. This way, not as much, not as much. We're really good at the top, though. Could that exhaust use more work? I'm pretty sure we had better than 180 at some point. I would have to go back and take a look at the other older videos of uh, what we were doing on a Mission Impossible. And I don't know off the top of my head what would be different. Uh, all right, guys, I'm rambling. I enjoyed going uh, live with DV and Andy the other night. I thought I had a great time. I was looking at my phone a lot because I was trying to answer guys in the chat at the same time. You have to remember I'm very ADHD and I, I can't just sit there and do nothing for very long. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you like the Mission Impossible update and this little, this little tweaky that we did today. By the way, I also, I dropped the bolt into the, to, to the, into uh, I was on the phone with Carla, and I dropped the bolt into the <laughs> the flow bench. So I had to take the whole flow bench apart. So since it's apart, I might as well throw a plate on it and see how close it is. Well, 300 plate, read 300.6, so I'm pretty good with it. So the calibration is staying at least on uh, range 4. And I keep thinking about, you know, the, the throttle body injection flows that much. I'm like, I really need to calibrate this, make sure this is what it is. But like I said before, this, this bench really doesn't change much. You only have to change it when the weather changes drastically. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.